Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hi guys, today I am going to be showing you how I extract a file from an Etsy shop. Um, I just purchased an SVG file um, from this seller, Sumingu Art Design, S-E-U-N-G-M-I-N-B-U -E Art Design. And I'm gonna go ahead and download this, and then I'm gonna show you how I would use this in Microsoft PowerPoint, not Cricut Design Space. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on download. And in the bottom left hand side of your screen, you're going to get a zip file. You can see here the zip file. And I'm going to click one time on that zip file and it's going to open it up for me. And when the zip file opens, it's going to allow you to have access to the files, but you're going to have to extract them first. So give me one second here. All right, let's see if I can move this over. because I want you to be able to see everything that I am doing. And so I'm going to move this over for you. So this was on my second monitor, so I wanted to bring it over for you. So this is the file. It's coming in a DXF, a EPS, a PDF, a PNG, and an SVG. I'm gonna be working with the PNG. Now, normally I would just click here and then say extract all. And then you want to select on your computer where you want to save this file to. I place mine in my downloads file so I don't have to browse. And I'm going to go ahead and click extract. And it's extracting that file so that I can use it without any issues. All right, so now I can go in, I can double click on the actual files because they've been extracted. You notice the extract button that was here is now gone. And so now I can just double click on this PNG file. And there it is, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click here and then I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna take it over to PowerPoint. Now in PowerPoint, I'm gonna be working with a size 11 by 17 fabric transfer paper. So what I wanna do in Microsoft PowerPoint is I wanna change my slide size to an 11 by 17. So I'm gonna to go to the design in the menu and I'm gonna come over to slide size and choose the drop down. And I'm going to choose custom slide size. And I'm going to be changing the width and the height to 11 by 17. And I want to make sure that they're both on portrait. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, this is where you want to make sure when you get this option, you want to make sure that you select ensure fit and not maximize. Okay, and there is our 11 by 17 slide size now. And this is what you use to 
keep from having to worry about size restrictions and Cricut design space, I normally just come out to PowerPoint and do what I need to do. And what I did here is I just right click and I changed the layout to a blank slide. You notice it had some boxes on there earlier, but I just right click and do choose layout and then select blank. And now that I've copied that image, if I want that image to fill up this entire slide from left to right for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click and say format background. And then I'm gonna select picture or texture field. And I'm gonna select clipboard because that image is on my clipboard. Now what I want to do is I want to take this offset left and right and I want to make that a zero. And now I have everything inside of an 11 by 17 if I wanted to do a full size print. Everything is now on one slide. Now this is what I do because you want to make sure that you mirror the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click here and I'm going to say new slide. It's going to give me another blank slide. And then on my laptop, you may have access to a snippet or your snipping tool. I'm going to be using a, a key on my laptop that says P is in Paul, R is in Randy, T is in Tom, space S is in Sam, C is in Candy, print screen. It's my print screen key in the top right corner. I'm going to click on that and it's going to allow me to take a snippet of this image now. Now I did not want to take a snippet of the image before I got it to the size that I needed it. So I'm going to take my snippet once I get it to the actual size that I need. So give me one second here and I'm going to take a copy here. And I'm going to show you why I do it this way. Okay, give me one second. Got a new mouse here. That's a rollerball that I don't like. And so I'm going to have to do it the hard way. So give me one second here. It really isn't this difficult, guys, but it's because I'm using this crazy uh, thing on my laptop. Okay, so now that I've copied it, I'm just going to right click and paste. And then I'm going to go to picture format in the menu. And I'm going to choose rotate, flip horizontal because when you're working with a light color fabric transfer, you wanna make sure that you mirror your image, okay? And so this is how I actually have now shown you how to extract an Etsy file or any file, wherever you take the file from the process, it's the same to extract it so that you can use it. And then um, copy it after you get it extracted, copy it bring it over into Microsoft PowerPoint using the format background and choosing picture or texture feel um, and changing your design to an 11 by 17 so you can get the full screen. So this will now print on 11 by 17 paper. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print this out just so that you guys can get a good visual of it. And I'm going to um, show you um, it actually printed, but I'm not going to be ironing it on, on just now because I have to get the t-shirt. I thought I had a larger size t-shirt and I didn't. So I'm just going to show you the process up to the point um, where we start talking about ironing on. I will not be completing that portion of the project. Now, on my channel, I do have where you can go to um, a video tutorial that I have on pen and gear. If you want to walk through the entire process of how to iron on an image using light or dark fabric transfer, it'll walk you through whether you're using light or dark so that you don't feel slighted with the video. All right, so the purposes of this video was to show you how to extract a file, bring it into Microsoft PowerPoint, change your 
image or your slide size in Microsoft PowerPoint to an 11 by 17 or whatever larger size you're working with, and then how to use the format background to copy the image, bring it in at the larger size, and then copy it and mirror it so that you can use it for light color. Now, if I was using dark color, I would just leave it like this. But since I'm using light color, and really either way I wanna use it, I can save this file so this would be my dark color, dark fabric transfer, and this would be my light fabric transfer. The way you know the difference is the light is mirrored, which is in the reverse, and the dark is not, okay? So I could easily go here and just say file, save as, and then I could give this a name that I'm going to remember. <clears throat> and FT is just my fabric transfer. So I normally keep it on my desktop. I'm just gonna hit save. And now this file is saved. So if anyone wanted to have me to do a larger size print for them, I'm ready to go. I don't have to worry about saving anything. I have the file already here, ready to go, whether or not they want it large or they want it dark or light fabric transfer. All right, so I'm gonna pause this video and then I'm gonna come and show you the finished product as far as it being printed out on the 11 by 17 paper. So give me one second here. <clears throat> Hey guys, so I have now completed um, showing you how to get your larger size image into Microsoft PowerPoint because you have those restrictions in Cricut Design Space that will prohibit you from being able to print larger than a um, 6.75 by 9.25. So I purchased this um, light transfer paper this is 11 by 17. I ordered this from a company called um, Our Trans, let's see. And I'll put it in the uh, comments as well. It's called Trans Our Dream, Trans Our Dream. And this was like $15 for 10 sheets. And you can see the difference on the sizing. <clears throat> Let me get a nice piece of paper here so you can see. So this is your eight and a half by 11 and this is your 11 by 17. So you can see the difference um, in your sizing. Now you will need a large printer that will, or a printer that will handle 11 by 17 or larger in order to use this transfer paper. <clears throat> All right, so when you are, if you've used um, Josie or Pen and Gear or any fabric transfer, the process is the same. You always want to put this side faced up, face up in your printer, the side that has a uh, printed or printing on the background. Normally, with uh, Avery and some of the Josies, you have the red for light and the blue for dark um, fabric transfer. But since all of this is light fabric transfer, all of the backing is gonna be the same. I also got one called New Fun or from a seller called New Fun on Amazon. This is the dark fabric transfer. And this one was, this one is also 11 by 17. This one came with 12 sheets. This one came with 10 sheets. This one was $15 and this one was 24, 24 50, okay? So that was the difference in price. Now I haven't used this one yet, um, but I want to show you what the image is going to look like printed out on the larger size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through, um, or show you what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go back into my design in PowerPoint right quick here. And let me move this out of my way. And I'm going to go to my printing. And I'm gonna choose here. I really kind of like the 
colors that I think would be really pretty for dark fabric transfer, but I'll do that another time. All right, so I'm just gonna print this one slide. So I'm gonna select print current slide and I am going to go into my printer properties and I'm gonna select the sizing here. And I'm gonna choose user defined and then that will allow me to be able to choose what size I'm printing on. So I've chosen 11 by 17 in inches and plain paper. Make sure I got everything correct. Oops, nope, I don't have everything correct. Let me go back because I have it on my Epson Workforce 7720. So give me one second. I'm gonna go to printer properties. I'm going to choose the right printer. So I have a HP OfficeJet Pro 7740 that I'm using. And I'm going to put in the sizing up under my printer properties. Have it in tray two. And I'm going to choose the sizing. Now, one of the things I like about the Epson Workforce 7720 is it will allow you to. <clears throat> Hold on one second. Hold on one second. All right, guys, got a phone call and I had to pause the video and then it stopped. So I'm going to pick up where I left off and hopefully the previous portion of the video is there. So I now have... Um, for this 11 by 17, I have selected tabloid for my sizing because I think tabloid is an 11 by 17. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and print this out so that you can see what it is going to look like. I think I have everything selected here, tabloid, trade to plain paper. I got it mirrored. We're gonna hit okay. Print current slide, trade to. And we're gonna go ahead and print. And that won't take long. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm showing you guys is I'm going to show you what it's going to look like on the large size paper. Um, now, if you're dealing with like a, a small T-shirt, you probably want, want to, do not want to use it 11 by 17 because that's pretty much going to take up the size of the shirt, which wouldn't look nice. Um, but if you're doing like an extra large, extra, extra large, then this would be great for that. So here it is, and the colors are very, very vibrant and very nice. So this is gonna be perfect for that larger size t-shirt. So I'm gonna stand up to give you a visual. So you can see it's gonna take up the entire size of the shirt for you, which is gonna be really nicely. And so this is where you don't have to worry about having that very small print from Cricut Design Space because Cricut won't let you print larger than um, 6.75 by 9.25. So we got that taken care of. Now, could have made this a little bit smaller, you know, brought it in a little bit, but I didn't want to, and so I didn't. <laughs> Plus, I just wanted to take up all this space um, here. Hold on one second. Hello? So what's funny is my son is asleep and he keeps calling me. 
That means he loves his mama. <laughs> All right, so that's it, guys. So what I would do is now I would take this and I wouldn't I would not cut out any white space because it's gonna be on a white t-shirt, so it'd be perfectly fine. But I would take this and then I would lay it face down on my t-shirt and I would heat press heat press this uh, on my heat press at about 350 for 60 seconds. Okay, and then I will allow it to cool off for about a minute or two let it cool off and then peel it because normally your light fabric transfers are a cool peel or a cold peel, not a warm peel. You don't wanna peel it off when it's hot, okay? Um, but if you wanna see the complete process on pin and gear um, on how to do a light fabric or a dark fabric transfer, uh, then go on my channel under the playlist and you can specify light or dark and it'll take you to the tutorial to see the entire thing all the way through. But this was just so that I could show you how you can actually do a large size print um, on larger paper. Um, again, I'm using the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740. That's the printer that I'm using um, that will print up to the larger size for me. And so, yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. It's been a while, a month. <laughs> since I've created in the tutorial, so I'm kind of a little rusty um, because it's been so long, but I'm back now, I'm back at home. Uh, may my brother rest in peace in heaven. And um, yeah, I'm back now. So I'm glad to be back amongst you all. And I hope that you guys will continue to support me by watching my tutorials. If you have anything that you would like to see me do that I haven't done or you need help with, just reach out to me, guys. Anyone knows that if I can help you, I will. All right. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. 11 by 17. Absolutely beautiful. On fabric transfer, on light fabric transfer. This is going to be awesome on a light color t-shirt. And then I may even do one on a black and send it to my daughter. No, I don't think so. Maybe not black because her hair is black. So I don't think it'll look as good. But on that white, it's going to be really nice. Okay. All right, guys, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have a great day. Bye.